This video will show you how to set up and use the Switch Up Macro Recorder mode for use in any game. The Macro Recorder can be used to record and playback a simple sequence of button presses and analog stick movements. Before you can begin using the Macro Recorder, you must navigate to your Nintendo Switch's system settings, controllers and sensors, and set Pro Controller Wired Communication to ON. Then refer to our SwitchUp YouTube channel and pair a controller directly to the SwitchUp device. If you do not perform this step, you will be unable to switch to the macro recorder mode. Tap the mode select button until the SwitchUp displays purple and orange LEDs. The player LEDs will also display as shown. You are now in macro recorder mode. For simplicity, we will only be mentioning buttons for Switch controllers, but you can find the equivalent buttons for other controllers in the controller conversion table here. Hold minus until you feel a rumble and the mode select LED changes to white to enter menu mode. Tap the button on your controller that you would like the macro recorder to use. The default is plus, but try to pick a button that is non-essential to gameplay. Tap the same button again to cycle between the following macro recording modes. This will be indicated by the player LEDs as shown. Hold macro repeat is one LED. Tap macro repeat is two LEDs. Hold macro loop is three LEDs. Tap macro loop is four LEDs. Macro repeat is designed to record and playback a sequence. Macro loop is designed to record and then playback a sequence on a loop. Then it is a case of whether you want to hold or tap the macro button for recording and playback. We will be demonstrating hold macro repeat. For more information about the other macro record modes, please read the online manual. Make sure that hold macro repeat is selected and tap minus to exit menu mode. The macro recorder is only designed to record small sequences, so use it sparingly. If you have not yet recorded a macro, you will need to hold the macro button until you feel a light rumble. Press buttons or move the analog stick to perform the action that you want to be able to play back. Note that the macro button is not recordable. Tap the macro button to finish recording with a light rumble, otherwise it stops when it runs out of space. Macro repeat removes any time after the last button or stick movement, whereas macro loop retains it to be used in the playback loop. Now that you have a macro recorded, you can, once again, long hold the macro button to play it back. If you quickly tap and release the macro button, it will be outputted as a regular button press. To clear a macro so that you can record another, Hold the home button and the macro button for about one second. You will feel two rumbles and your macro will be ready to be re-recorded. And that's how you use the Switch Up Macro Recorder Mode. If you enjoyed this video or found it to be helpful, drop us a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay tuned to Switch Up.